Hi guys and welcome to How's It Ray. My name's Chico and I'll be your host today. Today I've got a little something different. It's um, a dish that originated in Syracuse, New York. That's mid-state in uh, New York State. And I don't normally like to read off of anything, but I just wanted to share this with you. This is, this is probably the easiest, most tastiest, simplest dish you'll ever make. I mean, you just can't mess it up, and it's, it's truly outstanding. But uh, let me give a little history on it. Salt potatoes are a regional dish of Syracuse, New York. Typically served in the summer when the young potatoes are first harvested. They are staple food at fairs and barbecues. In the central New York region where they are the most popular, potatoes specifically intended for salt potatoes can be purchased by the bag along with packages of salt. As the potatoes cook, the salty water forms a crust on the seed skin and seals the potatoes so that they never taste waterlogged as ordinary boiled potatoes often do. The potatoes have a unique texture, closer to fluffy baked potatoes, only much creamier. The standard recipe calls for one pound of salt for every four pounds of potatoes. That sounds like a lot of salt, but after having made these, uh, I can tell you that it's not too much salt. And I'm going to rate these now because I've had them uh, a couple of times and I also made them uh, previous to doing this reading. And I have to give them a five. They're absolutely outrageously delicious. So, the Syracuse, New York area has a long history of salt production. Salt springs located around Onondaga Lake were used to create consumable salt that was distributed throughout the Northeast via, via the Erie Canal. Saltinated brine was laid out to dry on large trays. The salt residue was then scraped up, ground, and packaged. Now I've been there. I'm from uh, Albany, New York, and I'm a motorcycle rider, and I've actually ridden in the Onondaga Lake, some beautiful roads out there, and I drove by this particular area that they're talking about. Uh, very interesting. So let me go on with the story. Salt potatoes originated in Syracuse once comprised the bulk of salt workers' daily diet. During the 1800s, Irish salt miners would bring a bag of small, unpeeled, substandard potatoes to work each day. Come lunchtime, they boiled the potatoes in the free-flowing salt brine. By the, eight, uh, by the early 1900s, the potatoes were a central New York favorite, and a local entrepreneur, John Heiner Waddle, I believe I'm pronouncing it correctly, started serving them as a side at his famous clam bakes. He later began packaging five pound bags of potatoes along with a 12 ounce box of salt and labeled them Heiner Waddle's famous original salt potatoes. The first packaged salt potatoes were sold in the 1960s. Today, Heiner Wedel sells a million bags of salt potatoes annually. Now here's the preparation. Salt potatoes are bite-sized young white potatoes scrubbed and boiled in their skins. The proper size potatoes are a size B grade US 20. The potatoes are small and their appearance and shape are not important. I'm sure you've all seen them in the market. You can get them packaged. Upstate New York, you can get them with salt. I don't know if they're hinder wheels, but um, I know you can get them. And down here where I live now in Florida, they're easy to find also. They usually come in one to two pound bags. So you want the baby potatoes, red skin, white skin, gray skin. It doesn't make any difference as long as they're nice, fresh, little baby potatoes. So here we go. According to the recipe, the cooking water contains salt in a ratio of one cup of salt to six cups of water, giving the dish its name, unique flavor, and texture. After cooking, salt potatoes are served with melted butter. Now, again, remember that ratio. It's one cup of salt to six cups of water, and that's approximately enough water to cook uh, one to two pounds of salt potatoes. All right, so very easy to do. I can tell you that when you cook them, your stove is going to be a mess because the, the splashing of the salt 
Um, it, it forms this like white powdery crust on your stove. Very easy to take care of. You just use a wet sponge and it actually helps clean any stains that might have been there before you started cooking. You'll all know, also notice the potatoes float very high in the water. Being that you've added so much salt to the water, it increases the density of the water and the potatoes float higher. Just like that lake, I can't remember the, the name of it now, that's a salt water place, a lake or sea or something. Very high concentrations of salt and you can float in that stuff uh, very easily. Now, it says the resulting potatoes are creamy as the starch in the potatoes cooks more completely due to the higher boiling temperature of the extra salty water. So any high density water with salt in it has a higher uh, boiling point than regular old plain water. This is pretty interesting stuff. I mean, come on, you don't get this every day. The salty skin stands up particularly well to both herbed and plain melted butter. And obviously, you put the melted butter on them after you boil them. So, um, basically, we're going to be boiling potatoes in a high concentration of salted water, or high concentration salt water, and we're going to boil them until they're nice and tender. Um, if you test them by pricking them, make sure that you prick one potato and don't move from one potato to another because once you've pricked it, it's going to absorb more salt. So if you're going to use the pricking method, uh, make sure you kind of stay up the same potato uh, to find its degree of tenderness. Um, I don't usually do that. I can tell by picking one up. It's a little warm, but and, and just squeeze it a little bit. And after the first time you make it, I'm sure you get the feel of it. But there's no harm in using a toothpick. Um, they're, they're really interesting. When you drain them, after you drain them and you put them in a plate, you'll notice that they immediately start to get this white, calcamy looking appearance. And what that is, is the potato drying and leaving behind this ultra-thin layer of salt all around the potato. And at that point, as you'll see in the video, that's where we stab the little devil and we dip it in some nice, fresh, warm butter. And I can only tell you uh, that the, the, the taste is phenomenal. It's just like no other potato you've ever had. You can't compare it to a boiled potato, baked potato, or mashed potato. It's just super delicious, just the right amount of saltiness, and very tender, scrumptious, great party appetizer. So I do hope that you try this recipe, and um, I'm sure you're going to enjoy it very much. So, let's move on to the kitchen, and let's get these babies cooking. Alrighty then, I'll see you at the end. Take care. Well, I've got my six cups of water here measured out in a small pan, and as you can see, it's starting to come to a boil. And I'm going to add my one pound of nice little baby potatoes into the water. So far so good. Very easy. And then to this we're just going to add a little salt and a little bit more salt. Oh, and maybe a little bit more salt. Yeah, and probably a little bit more salt. And that's one cup salt, kosher salt, to six cups of water. And now we're just going to let our potatoes boil. And at this point, if you were to watch them long enough, they'd start to float to the top as soon as that uh, salt becomes uh, uh, combined with the water and it's in solution, the potatoes will start to float. Well, through the magic of video, we've got a nice boil going on here. And the potatoes are floating, as they should be. And you'll notice that the rim of the pan has this uh, white uh, talcum -y look to it. That's the salt that's... Uh, it's popping up and drying on the pan and I can assure you that it's all over the stove so uh, this is to be expected and it's no big deal and it's absolutely normal time to check the potato for doneness got to use the pointed end there and you can see that it's nice and tender at this point I did it towards the end so I won't have a bunch of salt going in that potato and I've got two skewers ready with a little bit of butter and those skewers are both for me. I'm not sharing. So I've drained my potatoes, and if you watch real closely right now, they're right out of the water. You'll notice that there's a film forming on them. It's almost like a talcum-y looking color. 
and all the water is gone and the potatoes are done nicely with this ultra thin layer of salt on them got them ready with my butter and there's one skewer for the mystery guest and one for me haven't decided which one I'm gonna stab first okay that looked like a good one notice that gloss that the butter puts on them isn't that beautiful I mean it's just outstanding the way it works I'll take a nice bite out of this one and I'll show you the inside oops didn't happen I think I ate the whole potato there I couldn't take it it was so good well, we'll try again with the next one. Alrighty, let's try this again. We'll stab that pretty little potato, dip it in the butter. Look at that beautiful gloss again. Really, really nice. Mouth-watering just looking at it. Take a bite. And let me see if this time I can show you what the inside looks like. Okay, I didn't hog out. Isn't that pretty? Look at the color of that and the texture you can tell it's just creamy and that's what it tastes like it's creamy it's almost like eating hot ice cream that tastes like a potato Ooh, double dipper oh well things happen well guys I can't stop eating these things they're so good I don't want to make myself look like a pig here and I don't want to make you guys hungry just give the recipe a try I'm sure you'll be very 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 pleased take care well there, by now we've all made our salt potatoes and you can see it was a very, very, very simple recipe. It just doesn't get any simpler than this. And for the amount of effort put in, the phenomenal taste of the finished product is just uh, so well worth it. And if you're not from central New York and you've never made these before, um, probably most of the people you know have not had them before. So what a great thing to serve at a party. Uh, barbecue, clam bake, uh, any kind of get together, very simple to make. Just grab yourself some potatoes, a little bit of kosher salt, some water, boil away, serve them with hot butter, and nobody's going to complain, I'll tell you that. Matter of fact, you might get a lot of compliments because it's something just not that's not served around the rest of the United States. And people don't know what they're missing, and neither do you. Now, now you know how good it was. So, you guys take care. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you again soon. Bye-bye.